Have you ever noticed roots hanging down from tree branches? Almost like ropes as you see here. You will often see this on trees like banyan. So what are they? Why do banyan trees need them? Let's dive in, learn more about roots and try to answer these questions. Let's try to see a fun experiment to learn a bit more about roots and how plants grow. Grab a conical flask and put a moistened ball of crumpled paper inside. Now take some soaked chickpea and place them between the paper just like you see in this here. Leave it aside for 2-3 days and check what happens after 3-4 days. What do you think you will observe after 3-4 to four days? Take a moment and try to guess. Yes, you have noticed something pretty cool about the chickpea. Two parts start growing out of the seed. One part that grows downward towards the soil is called the radical. It will eventually turn into root. The other part that grows upward above the soil is called plumule which will eventually turn into shoot. In this video we are going to discuss about different types of roots of plants. Let's take this root for example. You will notice that it is thicker near the top and tapers as it goes down. This shape helps to anchor the plants firmly in the soil. And some of them have secondary roots as well. You can see them here. The main part of the root which tapers down is called the primary root. And growing out from the primary root are the secondary roots. If you look closely, you will also spot tiny root hairs all over the root. And near the tip, you will find a root cap. A root cap protects the soft and delicate tip of the root, otherwise known as root tip. Yes, this type of root system is called the tap root system. It provides excellent support for the plants. The root hairs helps in absorbing water and nutrients. Some examples of plant with tap root system include carrot and radish, dandelions among the herbs and oak tree among trees. Let's look at two examples of another type of root system. Take a look at this. Here you have an onion and a rice plant. You will notice that these roots are thin, fibrous and spread out like threads. Unlike the trap roots, you don't see a primary root or a secondary root here. It's all just thread-like, fiber-like substances. And yes, as the name suggests, this is called fibrous root system. So there are majorly two types of root system and we know them as tap root system and fibrous root system. But how did these two types come into being? Why are they different? Let's figure out. First like a, take a look at this seed. It's a seed of red bean and it's called dicotyledonous. I know it's a big word but just bear with me for some time. The second one is a rice seed and is called monocotyledonous. Don't worry if these fe names feel tricky. Let's break these words down into how we pronounce them. Okay, so the first one, dicotyledonous, is pronounced as dicotyledonous. Make sense? And the second one, monocotyledonous, is pronounced as monocotyledonous. It just takes some time to get used to or you can simply call them as dicots and monocots for time being. Much easier, right? Of course, much easier. You learn more about these types of seeds in higher classes. But for now, what you need to know is that the dicots gives rise to the taproot system and the monocots gives rise to the fibrous root system. Right? Yes. So that's the origin of the two different types of root system. Now, other than tap roots and fibrous roots, there are some special kind of modified roots known as adventures roots. These roots grow above the ground and provide the extra support to the plants. Kind of like giving them a helping hand. And on top of that, they still do their regular root duties of absorbing water and nutrients. Cool, right? Yes. Now, let's look at some examples here. You can see roots above the ground in different plants. The first, first one on the top left is a maize or a corn crop. Notice how the roots grow out of the stem and into the ground. These are called stilt roots. They help give the plant extra support in loose soil. The next one is the mighty banyan tree. Its roots hang down from the branches and grow towards the ground. They are known as prop roots and they give the huge tree the support it needs to spread out. Then you have on the bottom left 
the strawberry plant. Take a look here. Its roots run over the ground instead of under it. These are called runner roots. And finally, check out this spiky root on the bottom right that comes out of the ground. These are seen in mangroves and they are called pneumatophores. These roots help the plants breathe in swampy or waterlogged areas. So these are the modified roots beyond the regular tap roots and fibrous root system. It is quite fascinating how plants adapt, don't you think?